Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to this mini series where I'm going to be teaching you how to build out a voice calling application using Agora's web SDK. So the purpose of this mini series is to teach you all this functionality and how to build something like this out on your own and teach you all these individual features that we're going to add into this application. So this is going to be about a seven video mini series here. And really what I'm trying to do is teach you how to do things like adding in basic audio calling into your app or maybe adding in a volume indicator so when someone's speaking you highlight the user that's talking it reads their volume level or maybe just to add in muting and unmuting functionality so we're going to build out all these features i'm going to break up those videos by feature so if you just want to learn one of those features and how to do it uh, you should be able to watch that video without following this exact series and still learn how to do it but if you want to follow along through the entire series let's go ahead and demo out the application we're going to build and then we'll just go ahead and get right into it i'll show you where to get the source code for this and how to run your own demo locally so you can test this out. So this is the application here. So we just have a room or a lobby page where we can join a room or create one. And then we are gonna actually have a room here. So pretty simple. Uh, for our avatars, usually you would have this come from like a user's profile, but we're not gonna build a full backend for this. Um, and I also don't wanna add the ability to upload your own picture. That's just too much for this demo. So I just added in some images and you will need to select one of these to join a room. Now we want a display name. This is what other users are gonna see. So I'll just go ahead and add my name, Dennis Ivy. And for the room name, we're just gonna call this DevRel. So I'm on the developer relations team at Agora. So we're just gonna go ahead and use that because this is what we like to use internally for our team. That's our room name usually. And we're just gonna enter the room. So here we see our user with our avatar. By default, my mic is muted. Kind of a good feature to have when people are joining your room. You don't want to hear like a baby crying in the background or a dog barking. Good to start a user off as muted. So right now, nobody can hear me. Nobody else is in this room. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna unmute right now. And right away, you're gonna see this being highlighted. Now you won't hear the audio. I specifically wanna make sure it's not echoing back and forth. But right now we see this user is speaking as I talk it highlights the user. So we'll mute it again. I can always leave a room, enter this room again, and we're all set. Now, if I wanna share this room, the cool thing that I added here is the ability to actually share a URL. So I'll try to zoom in here. And if you look at this, the room name here is DevRel. So what's gonna happen is if I share this with another user, it's gonna pre-populate their form field. Let's say you have like a really long room name. You don't wanna have to type all that out. You can just share a link here and that should pre-fill the form for another user. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my wife's name here. Let's say she wants to join the room. We'll select an avatar. DevRel is already in there and now she's in there. So we can add more users by sharing this link with others. As long as they have the room name, they can come and go as they please. And that's basically the application. So let's go ahead and actually uh, download the source code and I'll show you how to run this demo. Okay, so this is the GitHub repo for this entire project where you can find all the source code for our application and any instructions on how to download that demo and set it up locally. So I'd highly recommend checking it out. It's linked up inside of the video description. So go ahead and follow that link. And what I wanna do here is just go ahead and explain the folder structure and show you how to run this demo locally and how to get it set up on your machine. So first of all, uh, we have a few folders here and you're gonna see these folders numbered one through seven. And what that is, is the actual code at the end of each video. So we're gonna have about seven videos in the series. Maybe I'll add more later, but uh, when we finish up video number one, where I add in the basic voice chat functionality, I'm gonna take that code and upload it. And then we're actually gonna have the code with nothing else but the code in that video. And then when we go to, let's say video number three, we're gonna have the code with only the code before that and then the code that we added in to add in the mute mic toggle functionality. So it builds on top of itself. It's gonna help better understand that code. And then if you want all the code for the entire project to actually run it locally and see the entire application complete, that's gonna be within the demo folder. So this is what we wanna run locally and install. So we also have images here. I added in those avatars. We have the icons. That way you don't have to go find your own icons and avatars. Uh, you can just go ahead and clone this repo and find those images. So let's go ahead and take a look at the download instructions. So first of all, you wanna go ahead and clone this repo. So we're gonna run git clone and use the URL within the video description because this might change later. So if you see this and type that out exactly, might not actually work so make sure you're using that link in the your or in the description so once you clone it go ahead and cd into the folder and then specifically you want to cd into the demo folder and then go ahead and run npm install so you'll need node.js install to do that 
make sure you have that set up and then the next thing you're going to want to do is go into the app id.js folder so that folder is actually or file is actually right here so we're going to want to go ahead and just update this app id so you're going to need an account on agora.io within your console you're going to need to create a project and this app id if you want to run this demo because we're using rtc and rtm those are the two sdks make sure that the authentication mechanism is set to app id only that's very crucial because if you don't have it you're going to get an error and it won't work and the reason why that is is because typically you need a temporary token this demo is not set up with a temp token so we don't have it make sure it's app id only that is the only way we're authenticating this application and it's a uh, right now we're just doing this to show these features so not worried about best practices and security and so on so we're trying to run the demo app id only remember that because if I see errors or complaints in the comments about it, uh, that's probably why your demo isn't working. Make sure you have that set up and uh, you should be able to just run npm run dev. So we're using Vite for this. So that'll all be installed when you run that install. Uh, once you run that, your application should go ahead and open up on a certain port. I don't remember that port name and uh, you can go ahead and test it out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this project up. I'm gonna create a folder from scratch. We're gonna create a Vite app. We're gonna go ahead and clear the folders and I wanna build this from start to finish. Uh, the only thing we're gonna do is copy and paste maybe some CSS code because I don't wanna type that out, but I'll at least show you where to get that. And actually it's all gonna be referenced in here. So if we go to the first video, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab all this code from style.css. It's not that much. We just add in a Google font import and you know, a little bit of code it's about 109 lines of code but this way we're not focusing on this and you can actually type that out if you want to add your own styling so let's go ahead and get right into it so before we start coding here i actually want to show you one more cool thing that i prepared for you and that is written instructions for every single step of the way in this mini series so if you go back to that github repo that i linked up in the video description in every single one of these folders one through seven you are going to have a file in here called guide.md so it's simply a markdown file with all the steps to complete everything in that code to actually build out that part of the application. So right here, uh, we're just starting off with our basic Vi application. So that's going to be all the source code here, all the steps to build out our simple voice integration. Now, if we go to, let's say, video number three, where we add in the mute and unmute functionality here, we are also going to have a guide.md and that's going to be the guide to complete that part of our code base. So for now, what I'll recommend is go ahead and open up number one right here, go to guide.md, and I'm actually gonna follow along with you. I'll reference this to get our application set up. So the first thing here is it tells us to go ahead and create our Vi app. We wanna run some installs, and we're gonna go ahead and add in some boilerplate code and clean up some of that code. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and run npm create Vite, and then we'll just do at latest and we'll run that command. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna ask me for a project name. This will be the folder name once we create it. And we're just gonna call this voice rooms. So that'll create that code or start that preparation process. I wanna use vanilla JavaScript. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and we're gonna use JavaScript instead of TypeScript. And that just created my boilerplate code. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna use VS code here. We're gonna find that boilerplate code that was created for us. So that was on my desktop and we call that voice rooms here. So we're just gonna go ahead and open that folder up that Vite just created and let's get it set up. So there's some cleanup that we wanna do here. Uh, first thing is, is I wanna go ahead and just get rid of all this demo code that Vite prepped for us. I believe you say Vite, not Vite, but I've heard it said different ways. So I'm just gonna call it Vite for now. So in main.js, we just wanna get rid of everything up until the import for style.css. And again, this is inside of your instructions. I literally tell you what code to delete here. So we wanna delete everything up until that style.css import and so on. So go ahead and follow that along, follow along there too. So uh, inside of the style.css, we wanna go ahead and just get rid of everything in there. We want our own styling that we're about to add. Main.js should be clean minus that import. Uh, I want to get rid of the javascript.svg file uh, inside of index.html. Let's just go ahead and do hello world. So that's all we want in the index.html file. We don't want this counter.js file. That's just a demo that Vite prepped for us. And once we have that, 
Uh, I'm already CD'd into my folder. So if you're running that on your terminal, go ahead and CD into that. And we're just gonna do npm install. So we wanna run that installation and get all the default installations ready. That's our package.json file. That'll just prep everything for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in some code here. So inside of this index.html file, uh, let's go ahead and clean this up by removing this hello world. And let's go ahead and go into this source code right here. So this is in that guide.md file. I'm just gonna copy and paste. I know a lot of people don't like when I do that, but I'm trying to get to the actual audio and video calling part. So we're gonna copy and paste and then I'll just explain it line by line and kind of explain its purpose and why it's there. So uh, we're gonna paste this just above our script tag and inside of our body tag. Okay, so we'll minimize some of this right here. Let's go ahead and fix this indentation. So let's go up here and let me explain everything. So first of all, we have a container with the ID or a div with the ID containers. So that's gonna wrap our entire application. Uh, at the top here, we have a div called the room header. So this will actually be set to display none and you won't see it until you actually enter a room. So once this form is submitted, this will actually be visible only when that form is submitted. Now, instead of that room header, we first want the room name and there is no value there because we won't know that until a user adds that. So it's gonna be empty and we're gonna use JavaScript to fill in that value. And then inside of the room header, we're gonna have a room header control section. So this is just gonna have some icons for us and it's gonna have the ID for a mic icon and our leave icon. So when these buttons or icons are clicked, we're gonna to wanna to be able to leave and join that room and go back and forth. So that's our room header. So I'll minimize that. So again, h1 tag and another div inside of that. So we'll minimize that. Uh, in this form right here, we have a form with the idea form. We commented out the display name because we don't wanna add that feature in just yet. Uh, we just wanna have a submit button that says enter room. So right now we're focused on basic features. So that's all we have. And then later on, we'll actually add a room name field. So we have a form underneath our room header. I'll just indent that again. And then we just have a members div. So it's just an empty div and we're gonna append members that get added to this div. So it just has that ID. We're gonna access this value by that ID and that's it. So if I go ahead and run npm run dev to turn on our development server, let's go ahead and check this out. That's gonna open this up on port 5137 and this is our application. So those images are not in here yet. Let's go ahead and add those. So when you cloned that repo, which you should have done, but if you haven't, go ahead and clone this repo, you're gonna see this folder right here called images. So go ahead and copy or drag in the avatars and icons folder because we're gonna need those because inside of our HTML, we are actually referencing the icons folder with mic off and the leave SVG icons. So I actually have that set up. So what I'm gonna do here is actually go to that folder. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So you'll just need to drag that from the source code that you have. So I'm gonna bring this in here and we'll just do paste. So now I have an icons to SVG file. So these are those SVG icons. And then we're also gonna go ahead and grab some avatars, which I should have somewhere here. And we're gonna bring those in. So this way we don't have to do this later. So we'll just bring all that in. And now you should have an icons and an avatars folder. So these are gonna be those different avatars and the icons are set up. So let's go ahead and check out our application. And if I refresh it, now we should see some icons there. So just make sure those are properly configured. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and add in some boilerplate CSS. Again, this is all up to you and how you wanna do this, but if you wanna follow along with this exact project, uh, let's go ahead and just reference what I have in the demo for you. So in these instructions, let's actually go back to one and then guide.md. We're just gonna go ahead and find that specific CSS. So here's the CSS and I'll just quickly go over it, but I'm just gonna copy all of it so I don't have to highlight it. Um, I won't go over every single line of CSS, but uh, essentially, if you wanna code this out, you can still use that reference code. Uh, we just have an import for a Google font. We set some base styling. I want the background to be dark and all the text to be light. Uh, just a little bit easier to look at when I'm staring at the screen forever some styling to the container. We center the body, set a max width, so it's gonna be responsive. Our room header, uh, by default, we want it to be display none. So I'm actually gonna show you what it looks like and then we'll remove it 
and then all the code for our members wrapper, our avatars and everything else. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and let's take a look. So this is our page now. And right now, if I'm in the lobby, which technically this is my form, even though I don't see a form field, I don't want to see these icons here. So that's why I actually have this section right here. So for the room header, I wanted to show you this in the demo and then just make sure to uncomment that right there. So now we should only see this section and that's it. And then we're going to add in those responses to it. So let's see in this guide, if I take a look at this, I just want to see if we have everything prepped. And I think that's it before we jump to the next video. So in the next section, we'll start with this guide.md file and we're going to continue on with installing Agora, getting set up and adding in the actual audio calling. So that is going to be in the next video. I'll see you there.